welcome to a new series of Turkish cuisine. If you ever came to Turkey, you must be familiar with the star of every Turkish breakfast, Menemen. Hey guys, hello, so welcome to another video. It's Julie De Koca here from TTP and today we are going to have some traditional Turkish scrambled eggs menemen. So today we're going to try menemen at two different places. One is at the Anatolian side and the other one is at the European side. And after trying these two out, we're going to uh, learn how to make it at home. So yeah, let's go. La des menemen. Known for its fluffy and creamy Turkish scrambled eggs, Lades Menemen is definitely a great option if you are a big fan of Menemen. Here they have different kinds of Menemen from which you can choose, with sausage, pastrami, cheese, plain and so on. They also have other breakfast options which are great to combine with the Menemen, such as some cheese and olives, clotted cream and honey and freshly cut tomatoes and peppers. We went for a menemen with feta cheese and they served us with some fresh Turkish bread. You can see there are some tomatoes and some green pepper in it. It's very hot and fresh from the stove. So yeah, here the best way to have some menemen is with some fresh bread and with some Turkish tea. So yeah, I'll have it. The flavor, spiciness and creaminess brings the menemen to a whole other level. So this is definitely a great option to go for. The portion is quite big, which is why we ordered one for two, as we still had some other places to visit later on. at the first Miniman place in Taksim. Uh, it was very good, it was very delicious and now we're moving on to our second place in Kadıköy. So currently we are on the boat, we are uh, passing the Bosphorus, we're going from the European side to the Anatolian side and we're gonna have our second Miniman uh, in Kadıköy. So yeah, let's go! Meşhur Menemenci Cemal Polat. Here we are at our second location at the Anatolian side Meşhur Menemenci Cemal Polat. This place has a lot of different Menemen options which made it so much harder for us to choose from. Here they prepare the tomato and pepper mixture beforehand cooking it for long hours to enhance the flavors. Then 30 seconds and your menemen is ready. Okay guys, so now we are in our second menemen place. This is the Meşhur Menemen Cemal Usta. Here they are super friendly and it is a very cute place in a side street in Kadıköy. So yeah, now we're gonna have our meal and yeah, let's go. Here people usually order menemen with some fries, which is actually a great combination. The portions are a bit smaller, but as we already had some menemen beforehand, it was more than enough for both of us. As a plus, they were super friendly here, by which they won our hearts for sure. Okay guys, so now we tasted menemen at two different places, one in Taksim and the other one in Kadıköy. So the one in Taksim was a bit more spicy and flavorful and uh, a bit more expensive, but it was a very good place to have menemen. The second one in Kadıköy, uh, they had a lot of choices, they were super friendly, but it was a bit less spicy. 
Okay, so now that we tasted Mana Mana two different places, it's time to make our own Mana Mana at home. So yeah, let's go. So for Mana Man, we will need two eggs, one regular onion, I use two small ones, one green pepper, two tomatoes, some salt, pepper, red pepper flakes and paprika powder. First of all, we start by chopping our onions and pepper. Is Menemen with onion or without? This is one of the biggest arguments in Turkey. Some people strictly say it has, while others think the opposite. Although we will never know how it is originally, I will be making Menemen with onions, because I'm a strict believer that Menemen must have onions. Heat up a small pan and add some olive oil. You can also add some butter if you like. Add the onions and cook them until soft. While cooking, add some salt. Then add the green peppers. Cook them for 5 minutes. Then it is time to add the tomatoes. Once you add it, smash them softly and let it cook until it releases its liquid. Now it's time for the spices. Some black pepper, red pepper flakes and paprika powder. Each of them approximately one small teaspoon. Now it's time to add the eggs. As I personally don't like the white of the egg, I mix mine beforehand. But normally the eggs are mixed once they are cracked in the pan. While cooking the eggs, make sure your heat is low, otherwise it will dry out too quickly. To give you a tip, menemen must be left a bit liquid, as all the flavors are hidden there. Some people like to add some stretchy cheese in the dish while cooking, but I prefer to crumble some white cheese on top after cooked. I garnished it with some fresh parsley and extra black pepper. The perfect menemen is for sure served with some delicious bread and some traditional Turkish tea. So, this is my way of making menemen. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you at another Turkish cuisine video. Afiyet olsun.